Hello and welcome. I'm Monica Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Hello Janine. Hi Laura. Hi Tanirina. Hi Mom. Hi Pam. Hi Sonia. Welcome. So tonight we're going to do her leather jacket, the embroidery. So, and the headband. So, we are going to look at, we want to create the texture of the jacket. So, you'll see that there's little folds in between and then the embroidery stitching, the little buttons and then also look at the seams of the fabric of the jacket. Hi Lizzie, welcome. Then we're going to move over to her headband. The headband is quite easy, it's straightforward, it all depends on the shading because I haven't added any patterning or anything to it as yet. I might still do that on a later stage so that you can see how to handle pattern on the fabric which some people have asked me for but we will maybe do it on a later stage on another page. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I'm going to add in my highlights. First pencil is grey green light, PC289. This is medium pressure. Uh, can everybody see okay and hear me okay? Hi Kenny, welcome. This is medium pressure. So right on the inside edge and you need a sharp pencil for this. So this is the inside edge of the loop and then on the outside so you're drawing two little lines. Oh, I've lost my drawing here. So from here, you have two, here you only have one. You don't have one on the outside of this one. Yes, long time no see, Kenny. We've missed you. Then here we have a little piece sticking out underneath the hair. Then two lines. And then a third one for where the bump of the leather. So when the leather is getting stitched, there's a little bump that, ha that happens. 
but we'll do that with proper shading because it's soft leather and do the same on this side on the outside Internet, welcome. Now here at the top we are highlighting the top edge that we will change the color at the later stage. And then here add in a highlight. Now here at the top we are highlighting the top edge. And then we will change the colour. Do the same here. Some of these highlights you'll see that we'll change the colour. A little way in. Hi Caroline, welcome. Oh, thank you so much, Sunet, for your support. I really appreciate it. And this is showing the bend of the fabric. Now on the edge here, we are adding a little light line on the outside of our embroidered Almost like buttonholes or something. Then on this little button. And then just zigzag it out by widening it towards the edge. And light hand now, zigzag it out. We'll be adding more colors to them, so this is just to keep your highlight. Next color I'm going to use is terracotta.
Yes, Terracotta is PC944. I'm using circular motions and that will help with the texture. Because you almost want that soft mottled look. So colors will pick up in between where you have little holes. How many of you have started this page? And are still busy with it? Oh, good. Can't wait to see them. Next, I'm going to use black. PC935. Circular motions again. And you can add in your shadow of the fold.
then add in a shadow line of your embroidery because it's on top of the leather and add in a shadow widening it towards the back Hi Sherry, welcome No problem Do the same to this embroidery section, shadow, right here by the neck. Add in a shadow. In between the fold. on the outside of your white edge token Outside of the white edge there, give it a shadow. Here where the hair is, slightly over. This one I'm darkening. Next color, I'm going to use PC nine four six. Blend a little bit of the gray, ah, oh, gray black. Soften the lines.
Yes, sorry, dark brown 946. I'll go right around the edge of this one with the dark brown here by the corner. A little bit of dark brown. Darken the white lines. Next I'm going to use Sienna Brown. Soften it some more. Next is mineral orange, a light layer. Now I'm starting to cover some of the lines. And don't worry, we are still going to add a lot more layers to tone it. Next, I'm going to use Black Raspberry, PC1095. Playing a bit with colors. We were discussing uh, in previous uh, patron tutorials the use of color in shadow areas of complementary colors subtly. So I'm bringing in purples to complement all the yellow tones.
I think we can do a page giveaway. You can all choose a number between 1 and 100. We'll do random number generator. So you can all choose your numbers now. Hi, a view. Welcome. Oh, it's great. Luckily you didn't. Next is yellow ochre. And we're slowly building up the layers. Remember to choose a number back to Terracotta, BC944. Just hold them further back view. That helps because I also are heavy handed and I hold them quite tightly. And sometimes my fingers are sore after coloring. <laughs> I find that that helps.
Yes, mine's also in a tight grip, like a vice. Okay, so all the numbers in. Katerina, welcome. Next is chocolate, BC1082. Just a little bit. On the outside of the white. Okay, so let's go. Let's start. Stop. Lucky number is 38. Mom, can you just help me check? Who is it? Okay, Sonia, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it.
Kala Fella. Welcome. Congratulations, Laura. You can PM me with your choice of page and I will send it to you. PM me, DM me or email me. Next is Crimson Lake, PC925. Oh, brilliant. That's great to hear, Laura. Which page do you have in mind? So as you can see, there's going to be lighter colors on this side. And as it goes over to where the light is not coming from, you'll see that it will be darker shades. Oh, the cowboy. That was one of my first pages. Or one of the first two books had him in. Next, I'm going to use pumpkin orange. Next, I'm going to use 
Now I'm going over the highlight that we've added earlier because we are going to build up the color of the bend there. Oh, thank you so much, Color Filler. Um, I do translate all my videos on YouTube, or there will be French subtitles, but not straight after the stream. It takes a while, sometimes a day. But I've actually added French subtitles to all the previous videos to accommodate the French-speaking people. Back to black raspberry. You just need to press the CC when you watch a video to see the subtitles. If you click on the image, you'll, the CC will come up and then the subtitles will be there. Either in English or in French. Depends what the language is on the computer that you're on.
So now when turning this jacket, you can turn it to whatever color you feel like. Um, this is just to get the brown tone and there was a couple of people that asked me to do the jacket so um, that's why we're coloring this one tonight and this will be the last stream on the pirate the rest that's left I will leave it up to you to finish because there won't be a lot left to do Next, I'm going to use a little bit of light umber. Yes, Sherry, I agree. It is a nice feature. And this is just to turn the highlighted areas. Next, Mineral Orange, PC1033. Again, the highlighted area. And I'm softening the white also here. Because it doesn't have a shine like normal fabric. Mine's matte. So, and we tone it down. Then the yellow ochre again. Or mattish finish. Thank you, Pam. It's getting there. Then dark brown again. Now really go over your details. Darken the little line right next to your highlighted area. In between here. And some more of the in between there. This bottom section in between. Now if you look at the shadow, you 
only darken these sections. And the same here. Then back to Crimson Lake, BC925. Bring a little bit of the red back. Oh, thank you, Kenny. Then back to black raspberry, really darken some areas here to shape it. Then back to black. And don't worry, we'll rework the highlights. We just need to get the toning right first.
So what type of um, tutorials would you like to see in public stream? What is something that you've been looking for to um, that you struggle with that you can't find? Or there's not enough of? Dark brown again. Oh, that's a good one, Lizzie. Men with facial hairs. I think we will do one in the near future. That would definitely be a good one to do. Next I'm going to take Beige Sienna. I just want to sharpen it a little. Oh, just before the badge scene. Sorry, I left out a pencil. Let's quickly do burnt ochre. A little bit of burnt ochre. And just blend in our highlights. Oh, metals, Ro. What type of metals are you battling with? Is it in jewellery? Is it in general? Is it shields? Is it swords? What type of metal? Steel? Rose gold? Gold? Yes, the eyeglasses is a good one. I actually do have a page that we still need to finish that I did with luminance. And she has glasses on there. Oh, all of them. Right, did you uh, work through the metal tutorials that we have on Patreon? There's a gold one, rose gold, there's um, the hammered metal, normal metal. Yes, the Harry Potter page, Lizzie. I think we'll finish that one in public stream.
Um, the hammered metal and smooth metal and wood on a shield is um, one of the Vikings Yilda tutorials. They are here on um, public stream and they on pat I've loaded all of them on Patreon as well. And then Color My Dreams Facebook group. on the channel if you if you um, click on videos at the top then all the videos will come up uh, this is goldenrod again and I need to just sharpen this one before we go do page scene Yes, Lizzie, you're quite right. The other Viking also have metal. The um, the helmet. Uh, yellow ochre. I think Andes she has some armor on it. The air patch. Oh, on her. There's the Hilda badge and the a air page and then there's rose gold, plain gold and rusted metal and the Hilda page have the smooth steel of the sword and hammered metal and the embossed metal rusted uh, Steampunk gears. Oh, this one is yellow ochre. PC 942. Sorry, did I say goldenrod? Yes, you are quite right, Lizzie. You must watch me. Heavy rain as clouds or somebody being wet with lots of rain? How would you use that, Laura? This is now the beige scene. Or how do you want to use it? Wet with rain. Like wet hair, wet face with droplets on it. Oh, we can do that.
I'm softening the highlights. To make it look like rain, that is quite an advance and you have to have lots of patience um, tutorial. I would say. But we can do it. I think wet media will give sort of the effect but you will have to do so many layers to get it with wet media. But that is a good idea Sherry. Let it dry and do more, let it dry, do more. Um, next I'm going to use a little bit of bronze PC1028 Now, next color I'm going to use is Cloud Blue. Uh, BC1023.
The reason why I use cloud blue, it's got a slight blue tinge. So it turns down the yellow of the yellow ochre and it looks white. So, but when you use white here, you will get like a cream over this layer. We will still add um, like a grey green light or a white afterwards. But you don't want it to be too white. Now I'm highlighting slightly right next to the dark line. Here I'm softening that stitching line at the top. On this highlight here, I'm also just adding a little highlight next to the dark line. This one, the outside one, I'm lightening it right through and a little line here, the top, Yeah, on the highlight, lighten the dark line, lighten your two light lines, then let your line be dark again where the shadow area is. Then on the highlight, lighten your stitching line. And use a light line on these highlights here, oh, a light hand. Lighten it a little bit more. Same on this side.
Yes. The blue turns down the yellow, the cloud blue. Then in certain areas, I'm taking a little bit of dark brown and just go over where we've lightened it a little bit too much. Just bring it back. <laughs> Sherry. And now that's basically it. You can keep on toning till you are happy with your color. You can add in a little bit more of the red tone, a little bit more brown. It's really up to you. This is just the black raspberry. Now we can move over to our embroidery. With these you need really sharp pencils. So I need to just sharpen mine. which you all know mine's not always sharp Okay, the yellow ochre, my shop.
Are you all still there? So first of all, I'm going to do grey green light. Thin lines, we are going to cover a lot of them and then we'll just go with white again afterwards. So here, just go over your lines that you have added earlier. Now I'm going to take my um, Light Umber PC941, draw a thin line in between of where those lines would be. So there's two white, uh, light lines here at the top. Then I'm accentuating it with Light Umber. In, in the middle then right underneath the white light in bed let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer You're welcome, Sherry. Then on this side, you will have one line just above your highlighted line going around. Then this one, do the same. A, li a line in the middle. Oopsie. Then a little space and your other line. Then this one. A light line. Your next color is espresso. Espresso is one zero double nine. Now I'm um, on the outside of the white line that you've added. You give the little button a shadow. Now this light umber line that you have, the middle one, you give it a shadow, so you darken it. Then this one, shadow, there we go.
give it a small shadow in the light umber line. Do the same here. Just touch it very lightly in the middle there and in the bend. Very lightly and darken the outside. The shadow. In the bend. Next, I'm going to draw a shadow in the middle. You still have your drawing, but I don't have my drawing anymore, so I'm just going to add it in there. Add it in here. Just a little flicking motion in the middle. Then, we're going to take light umber and now I want you to bend um, in that direction bend like that little lines like that so little lines I would think Extend the middle with the light umber. And they don't have to be exact. If there's one or two that's a little bit squiff, that just gives it more of a realistic feel. Night, Caroline. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And do the same to the top one. I'm just shading that line with my light umber and the one going round and a little bit there. Now draw your little lines. Now I'm going to take my yellow ochre, PC924. And go over your little outside line. So we're warming it up. Now just go over the light middle sections, uh, just a light medium, li uh, medium to light pressure, go all the way.
Next, I'm going to use chocolate. Now you're going to do flicking motion, but try and stay on your dark line. So flicking motion inward. Inward. Don't have to be exact, but it's not that hard. And same in the middle. Ooh. Don't break your tip. Do the same to the top one, flicking motion inward, try and stay on your dark lines. Inward at the top. and accentuate next I'm going to use a little bit of mineral orange So just go slightly over the top section, lightly. This is a really light hand. Just to tone it a little. Then I'm going to go with my grey green light. Now just in the middle of your highlighted areas, a little bit more on the side, on the high rise, and now just towards the one side. And draw one line on the edge. So draw your lines, draw, 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 draw. And then take it and just draw a little line. Do the same to this side. Little, little. little lines now I'm just going to take a little bit of 70% French grey and just turn it down a bit Bring in the shadow area. So with a soft hand, just lightly going over them. Now, 
And the buttons is quite easy. Mineral orange. In a C. Then yellow ochre. Then light umber. little bit of pumpkin orange because it's a little bit more brassy so very little then espresso so light hand You start hard pressure to lighter pressure. Same here. Hard pressure to lighter pressure. Then just take your mineral orange again, go over some of the white, make this a little bit smaller and softer, and yeah, this bottom one, yellow ochre. And then grey green light just soften yellow ochre again bring go over that rim on either side And then finally, a little bit of black to the proper shadow, shaping it. I'm just darkening it slightly. And there we there we go. You've got the shinier buttons and then you have the gold embroidery. It's a different gold.
so that's why we were playing with the tones a little bit more yellow ochre mineral orange A little bit more espresso A little bit of light umber And then we just grey green light it. And that's it and that's all we have time for tonight so at least we've done the jacket I think the headband and the hair I'll leave up to you to do the headband is just reds that I've used I've used uh, permanent red then crimson red raspberry in the darker parts then dark purple in the very darkest parts and part of the highlights oh sorry not part of that this is the highlight then the crimson red and Okay, I've got more than one crimson red here. Then here, oops, here on the rim here by the detail. Carmine red, just a little bit here. Just to show where the band folds are. And then here right on the edge, just a little bit of eggshell and golden rod and that's it and that's it for tonight thank you so much for watching thank you mom for being my mod I really appreciate it thank you to each and every one that came out to watch the stream tonight I will see you all next week with something different and I hope to see you all here next week again. Bye bye everyone and stay safe.